What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another Legendary Mac Productions. For one thing, my name is actually Tyler, so let's just put that to a stop. I'm still going to say it because it's a bad habit. I'm not talking loud. There are people in bed, so let's just put it that way. But this video is about, um... It's about the port forwarding thing I made a while back. I did that for a, uh, another website, but I've ha I had to remove it because... I didn't like the fact that they was trying to pull more of my my very low income I make off all my videos. They was trying to pull all, the most out of that off of it, so I didn't like that. So I stopped. I can't, brought that to a stop. But I'm trying to keep constantly updated to that. I need you guys to realize that um, most of the stuff you guys ask me is just a simple call away from your uh, provider. Some of the things you ask me. Um, in fact, let's pull it up here. You might see it here in a second. My face might be covering it though. I should already have this done, but you know. You guys will be alright. Click this. You'll hear it for a second maybe. Okay. Check this over here. Okay, so you guys see the password thing. I like I said, I'm trying to keep constantly updating with you guys. These ones are some. This is like the, one of the oldest ones there is. So, most of the people ask about the password. Your password you can easily Google as long as it hasn't been changed. The original password is around. The username is either going to be admin or cuss admin, like you see there. Like how he says cuss admin. That one works for my router, works for plenty of other ones. Password is normally password. I change my password personally because I want to be more protected. Now, you could, your uh, legal guardians or the provider could have set the password completely different. And at that point, you need to ask them for permission to get access to it. Yes, even your provider, you have to ask for permission because some companies do not allow people to pour forward. So they will ask you why you want to do it and whatnot. You just tell them, say, hey, I'm trying to do something for me and my friends or whatnot. And they'll be like, okay, we can set you up. It's easy as a friend call away, to be honest with you. But I'm not complaining about um, replying to these. Now, there's a couple of them that left me. It was like, for the ports for the PS4, I've, I don't even mess with the PS4 or anything like that. I'm, I port uh, computer stuff. But... There's a website in the, that video description saying where to go to find all the ports that you need. It is very simple to use. I mean, I've even found PS3 up to Xbox 360. I'm not positive if PS4 is on there yet. It might be. I haven't looked in a good while, so be sure to check that out. Well, I might even check it out for you guys and whatnot. But a lot of people are seeing that uh, the external, so other people want you routers can play. What IP do they use? The IP they're going to use is you go to your uh, URL browser and you type in what is my IP. That is God honest the easiest way to find out your IP. I'm not going to display my IP. I'm not even going to sh attempt to show you guys. All you do in the URL browser you type in what is my IP. Or you go to Google. I use Google Chrome so I'm able to just type in the URL browser what I'm looking for. Because that is the Google search. Now if you're using Firefox, you have to go to Google. Then you have to type in what is my IP. So yeah, it is very simple to figure that out. I mean, yeah, I, it can't get any easier than that. I'm giving you guys more advice than I got in a long time. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to make more advice, more how-to, more... Just about anything, like, you know, other than just gaming. Because I suck at that anyhow. Because I'll be a little better at this. Okay, so anyhow. Some of the settings in your uh, router will be completely different than in a person. That, like, you see my, my video of my router. Mine is way beyond being different from everybody's. I mean, there might be a few the same as mine. 
but that's because I got a piece of crap router that doesn't do justice to be honest with you suddenly put it in and it's like all oh, this will be good for you it'll do the job just trying. no it won't I've been str I've been fighting this thing for over six months now just trying to get the best performance out of it and going to show changing the settings inside of the router is going to be um, a little more complicated because they do the uh, companies will shut you out of some things like I can't rename mine without having to call in and they have to change my password to get back in through it and reset all my ports which to me changing the name it was really not that big a deal I just really wanted it hidden from anybody that comes over it's like hey what's your uh, router password like I don't trust you I'm not giving to you so I'm not going to tell you which router is mine because basically mine is invisible anyhow so you can't find it without my MAC address or anything like that or just the simple SSID thing. So anyhow, and um, this goes to that last comment I'm looking at right there. It says about three months ago. I think some of those are way off, to be honest with you. Uh, the rule limit has reached the max number. The rule number meaning as if you put in too many ports, some uh, routers you can only put a max of ports into it because that's what it can handle. You need to find out more of the info of your router before you port forward on it. Because like for if you want to port forward anything to do with Gary's mod, you'll be looking up the 10 plus ports. Which is why I don't port forward for Gary's mod. I don't trust it. I don't like it. They ask way too much from you. Minecraft, I'll port forward the hell out of that 24-7. Why? It's one port. That's why. TeamSpeak, three ports. Easy enough. I'm happy with it. And I constantly use it. Me and my friends do. So, there's nothing wrong with using it. Okay, so, actually, let me see. I did not put the link down in the no IP I will put the link down below actually guys um, of this video if I remember it. but you can go into um, go to port forward through Google search port forwarding I think it's portforwarding.com so be sure to check out just type in Google type in port forwarding make sure your ad blocker is disabled on that if it isn't it will not work because they have a special thing there so that allows that to actually work properly you won't get no ads or nothing on that site which is perfectly fine I use it all the time but yeah guys um, if this video is helpful by any means hit that like subscribe button and there will be more videos coming down the line I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that camera is really fucking bright Pardon my language. I don't care. Ooh, can't wait to turn that bad boy off. I'm getting a headache from it, guys. But anyhow, I hope this video really helps you all and whatnot. And like I said, I know I always say this a thousand times about every video. But it's hopefully getting stuck in your head. <laughs> Just be sure, if, if you don't want to subscribe, hit the like button and share it on to some friends. Be like, hey, this might help you, this might help you. And if there's a lot of questions asking the same thing, I will make a new tutorial video of how to do something step for step, not skipping a beat, and I will make that video as long as it needs to be. I do raw footage, I don't cut things out, I just go. Now with Bandicam is what I use to record. And that means the longer I talk, I'm going to be saying subscribe again, so be aware. Whenever you use Bandicam, I have a special button on my mouse. Um, I don't know if I'll get this in the uh, frame. It's right there on the side. I, those are what I use to record and pause. When I pause it, it doesn't, it doesn't fully stop my recording, so when I hit the button again, it resumes right left where I left off. But that's where you'll see me jump in some of my games. Like I'll be in one area, then I'll jump to the next. It's an amazing feature. It saves me a lot of editing, and it's like... All I gotta do is take it from that software and just throw it straight to YouTube, which comes out to at least 720p, I believe. And that is pretty good for me because I can't even run 1080p on my own computer. 
but it's qualified to run, but I just pushed 720. Good quality, you know. We just stick with that. Yeah, I'm... Anyhow, guys, I'm going to try to get more videos posted out for y'all and try, 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 try to get, like, footage of doing small repairs and just tinkering around making things better. Like, I know I'll be working on a push mower, a weed eater. So, like, the weed eater prime thing, that, getting that fixed. I said the weed eater runs and I can sell them and get them out of the way and make money. So yeah guys, be sure to hit that like subscribe button. I mean it would be really appreciated. If not, hit, hit the share button if anything. Share it with friends, enemies, family, uncles, neighbors. Just share it with everybody. Okay? That's all I ask. Uh thanks for watching again. Y'all have a great day. Or night, evening.